What did I miss? Brian here, and it's pretty cloudy outside, but at least it's not hot. Today, we're going to be talking about an existing mod that I've had on my 4Runner for four years, and that is rear LED turn signals. When I first started making YouTube videos, one of the videos I first uploaded was the mods that I did to my 4Runner, and one of those mods was the rear LED turn signals. But I didn't like how the video turned out, so I deleted it from YouTube. But ever since then, I've gotten a lot of questions on what bulbs did I use? Did I use load resistors? How is this possible? So the bulbs I got for myself are these. I used to think this says surgery, but clearly that is not surgery. So I don't know how to pronounce that. But anyways, that is what the front looks like. And if you flip to the back, you'll see it says, well, air quotes, surgery two. And these are 2590 lumens. So they are extremely bright. These bulbs are 7440 type bulbs. So that is something to keep in mind. Opening the box, you'll see there's the bag with two bulbs inside. Now, when you get them brand new, they're supposed to be this bright orange color. Mine faded and they turned to this weird peach color. And that's because I've been running mine for four years straight and they're still running great to this day. Like I said, I got these off of Amazon. Now, these specifically are not on Amazon anymore, nor can they be found anywhere else. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna find alternatives on Amazon, eBay, and other sites possible, and include links in the description. And the most important thing to keep your eye out on is that they say error free, because that means that they do not require load resistors. Now, a few things to take into consideration. One, uh, you would have to do some research on your vehicle to know what type of, wow, it's pretty sunny. But like I said, uh, first thing to take into consideration is one, you want to do some research on your own vehicle. You want to make sure you're getting the right bulbs, like uh, if it's a wedge type socket or if it's the thick twist type socket. And second thing to note, for most vehicles, when you change the turn signals from incandescent to LEDs, they're going to hyper flash most of the time. Therefore, you will have to add load resistors to stop the hyper flashing. Now, those are for the turn signals that are running off of wiring harnesses. And the reason why I'm pointing this out is because on the fourth gen 4Runner, the rear turn signals are not running on wiring harnesses. They're actually running on these, um, not sure what you call them, socket caps. They're these little caps that you just twist and remove and that's how you take out the bulb. They're not attached to anything. They're not hanging on anything. Now, there are some pros and cons to this. For the pros, you don't have to do any extra work. You just have to change the bulb and you're good to go. Now, for the cons, one, the bulbs are kind of expensive. At least mine were. Mine were 25 or $26. Can't remember. It was somewhere around there. And second con, there aren't that many LED turn signal bulbs out there that don't require load resistors. So they're hard to find and you'd have to do some heavy searching. For this video, I went ahead and put back in the incandescent turn signal bulbs. And just to show you. Oh man, that looks horrible. For the tools, you just need one and that is a plastic prying tool. If you have one, great use it. If you don't, then for an alternative, you could take a flathead screwdriver and tape the flat end. That way you don't scratch any of the interior plastic pieces. And so without further ado, let's get to it. All right, trunk is open and I'm going to start with the passenger side. This is a panel that we need to pull out. So I'm going to get my prying tool and Pull it out. And I'm gonna bring the camera in closer on this one. So taking a look inside, at the top we got the turn signal and that's a cap. The middle we got the brake light, which is a wiring harness. And at the bottom is the reverse light, which is also a cap. And the main thing we're focusing on is at the top. And all we need to do is just turn it counterclockwise and pull it out. Take the incandescent bulb out. All right, then take the LED bulb and slip it in. 
just like that it's that easy and then put it back in the socket all right and that's all there is to it now, one thing to keep in mind is that with these LED bulbs, they are polar specific, meaning that they only work in one specific direction of the socket. So I'm going to hit unlock. Okay, it did not flash, but that is not a huge deal because all we need to do is go back in, pull the cap out, and then we take the bulb and flip it to a whole 180 degrees and now it should work. So I'm going to put it back in and hit unlock. There we go, now it works. I went ahead and turned on the emergency lights and as you can see, that LED bulb is reacting instantly and is piercing bright. Whereas with the incandescent bulb, ugh, that one is weak. In my honest opinion, LED is the way to go. It looks cleaner and I like the fact that it's, you know, instant, 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 you know, the way it flashes. Whereas with the incandescent one, it's slow glow, slow glow, slow glow. Now that we know what the lights look like side by side, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the emergency lights and change the driver's side turn signal. All right. Truth. Hey, got on the first try. Now for the final product. Yeah, that looks good. But we are not done yet. To really know for sure that the turn signals won't hyper flash is when the engine is running. So let's go ahead and start it up. All right, in the driver's seat, let's confirm that there is no hyper flashing. Start with the left. Yeah, no hyper flashing. And let's go ahead and see. Look at that. No hyper flashing whatsoever. Now for the right, same thing. And let's go ahead and take a look. Look at that. No hyper flash. I'm very happy with these bulbs. Uh, one, they don't require load resistors, so they don't require a lot of work. And two, I like the way they look when they're flashing on and off. And well, why don't I go ahead and show you how they look in the daytime as well as the nighttime. And so that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you're subscribed, thanks. If you're not, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and close it. So take care everyone. I will catch you on the flip side.